Is a divine masculine man required to financially totally support that divine union relationship? Well, we're going to get into it and we will share some of our financial details. Not all of them. Y'all aren't going to get our tax returns, <laughs> but we will share how we do it in our relationship. It really depends on what your relationship is. You know, for, for us, um, we, we don't look at our relationship as based on finances. You know, that is not our number one top priority in this relationship. Our, our top priority is related to supporting each other through many of various ways. You know, one being financial, but one being more important of emotional um, support and how we show up for each other in all the ways that we each need in this relationship. And I think we put an emphasis on that more related to, you know, me taking care of your personal needs. How can I make your life easier? And how can I support you through that by, you know, ensuring that your car is charged every day, taking the trash down, simple little things, you know, when you're, you're tired and you want a bath, so I'll go draw you a bath for you and so that I can make your day a little bit easier and allow you to rest. Those are the ways that we look and I look as a masculine man on how to support you best. You know, I too you know, enjoy doing things for you financially. You know, a as a man, I want to feel purposeful and I want to feel like that I am leading our family in, in all ways. And so for me, doing little financial things doesn't mean that I'm trying to go out and make a million dollars this year to, to support our family. It's me wanting to go out and buy you flowers. It's me wanting to take you out on date night and, and buy you a nice dinner. It's me taking our kids and us going to do something fun on the weekend and enjoy ourselves, and, but providing in that way. It doesn't have to be a dollar amount. It doesn't have to be a percentage of, hey, I'm doing 80, you're doing 20. I'm doing 50, you're doing 50. Mm -hmm. Hey, this bill was $100 for dinner, where's your 50? Mm -hmm. it's, it's not what it's about. It, it, it's about working together and, and living your life in harmony together mm -hmm. and not allowing the finances to overwhelm you and so that it's it's a stressor, right? So don't yeah. allow the money to become a stressor in the relationship to where that's your focus. Right. Your focus needs to be emotionally set. I do think, though, like we have a friend who's very financially um, abundant and she's a female and she's in a relationship with a man who makes less than her. And she was buying him all of these things at the store a few weekends ago. And I pulled her aside and said, stop doing that. Make an intentional effort as a divine feminine to always be in the position of receiving. Don't buy exorbitant gifts for your man. Don't go out of your way to hustle and grind for your man. And if you are doing that, there's a problem that I see overall in the relationship in general. Because in a divine union, the divine feminine should always be in her receiving energy. So that's receiving emotionally, um, intimately, mentally, um, financially, yes, too. But financially is only one component of a way that a woman is receiving. She can receive in all those other areas. And if her man doesn't make a lot of money or, do, or makes less than her, she can still be in that receiving energy of the emotional, the intimacy, the mental, all of the ways a man can give to her, it's more important that she's just in that receiving energy. But you do need to be careful, I think, as a feminine to not overdo it in your giving and in your like purpose-driven worry about the well-being of the man because that's his role. Yeah, I, I, I would touch on that as well of saying specifically to what you were just mentioning, in, in a role where a w woman, even if she can financially provide extras for you, right? Like as a man, you are purpose-driven and you're task-oriented and you want to please your woman. You know, if you're, if you are truly in that relationship, obsessed with your woman, uh, desiring your woman, then you're wanting to do all these things to please her. And a way to please her is by providing for her. And it doesn't, like I said, it just doesn't mean you're out buying a Porsche. You're doing all these elaborate ways to, to provide for her because those are materialistic things. But it's by providing a safe environment for her in your actions and, and all things you're doing. So when a woman starts 
you know, giving you lots of gifts and starts doing things that if, as a man, you start to feel kind of belittled. Resentful. You start resentful because now you feel like you're not providing. And, it, and it's not because it's not coming from a good place in her heart because she loves you. And that's why she's making those choices to do things for you. But as a guy, you tend to kind of step back and you start, you can actually leave relationships when that happens because you don't feel like you're enough. You don't feel like you're providing what she needs because a male role and what he needs is to have that task oriented and the, to have that purpose and knowing that he is the protector and provider for his woman. And we're not talking financially. We're talking in all ways. So in all ways. Um, it, it's so important. Um, it doesn't it doesn't mean that we don't appreciate things. It doesn't mean a small gift here and there or, you know, for me, what works better than actual gifts is, is as we've talked so many times, is, is a thoughtfulness, letter. a love letter, something you telling me you love me all the time, you grabbing onto my arm and resting your head on my shoulder as we walk. Just the ways that you show that you love me and that you care about me and that you appreciate all that I do for you. And you're constantly telling me that you do. And you're constantly showing me your smile on your face is a gift enough for me because I know that that you truly appreciate and you love me with all you have mm -hmm. because of the things I do for you. Again, it's me receiving all that you give to me and the effect of that receiving is the gift for the man. It's really hard to believe that as a woman because that's how we feel loved. We feel loved by a man giving, by a man providing. We feel loved that way. So we are now projecting how we feel loved onto him when we're in that over giving, doing the most mentality. We're getting it confused because a man doesn't feel loved by feeling abundant because you gave him so much and did the most he feels loved when he is needed and when he has a purpose and when he sees you happy because of what he has done for you it really truly is that simple yeah 100 percent agree my my happiness comes from your happiness so when i when i see you're you're elated from all the different things that i do when i see when I mean, you see me playing out with the kids or me doing projects with the kids and stuff and to see the smile and how much that makes you happy that I'm doing those acts, mm -hmm. that's where I get my joy. When I buy you something that I know that you wanted or something that makes you feel pretty in a moment, whether it's flowers, whether it's clothing, whether it's jewelry, whatever it may be, because that puts a smile on your face and it allows you to feel that feminine this inside you it makes me feel more masculine because i know that i am providing that to you and, and giving you you're that doing joy. a good job providing oh, thank you <laughs> <laughs> you know and that does and that, as she stated also goes into intimacy we're talking about intimate moments you know i i am a lot more about my joy comes from pleasing and, and making you feel good and making you happy in those moments mm, i love the whole intimacy side yeah. we could do a whole video on this but because women are taught on like call her daddy and all of these different pods and shows like how to satisfy your man and how to be this like you know just sexual goddess and it's like you don't actually have to do that it's so much easier you just have to show up as you in your authentic feminine self and just receive be secure enough to receive stop thinking that you have to do the most in that area too because as you sit back and receive it brings him so much pleasure. Like, he truly feels like he's the man. Right. Because he's making his woman so she... He's watching you be so satisfied. Oh, which is satisfying back to me in return, right? Because of the, the joy and satisfaction that you're getting from being able to feel safe with me, right? And safe and... In the presence and that you're not feeling like you're just this role within the, within that this intimacy role, yeah. that is this society archetype. says that you're supposed to be you know and yeah in those type of moments and i think it's it's key to have a connection to feel that energy between each other and to provide that to you and and i draw from that too i draw from your 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 strengths within that and by you allowing me to be there to please you in all ways see there's so many other ways than financial that's the point to circle back yeah. there are so many other ways that you can be in your receiving feminine energy and he can be in his purpose-driven providing masculine energy that exceeds financial right there's so many other ways i didn't know that night i found my person my heart